friends, this video on how do organisms reproduce part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now discuss the next type of asexual reproduction that is budding. What is budding? The word budding is derived from the word bud. So let us see what it is. Here a new individual is formed as an outgrowth of parent. That means on the parent's body itself, there will be some outgrowth at a specific part of the body. That outgrowth is known as bud and that is why this process is called budding. So that outgrowth will gradually grow and it will become a new individual. So this is how this reproduction takes place. So here the daughter separates away and parent continues to exist. Like in case of fission, what was happening? After the fission was actually taking place, the parent was dying because the parent itself was breaking to form the new organisms. But in this case, even after the daughter organism is formed, the daughter will also exist, the parent will also exist. Okay? So that means on the parent body, there will be a small outgrowth, which we call as bud. That bud will grow. When it becomes mature, it will separate from the parent's body. So let us look at the organisms where we actually find this kind of reproduction. It is generally seen in organisms like hydra and yeast. <clears throat> so see how it happens here. So this is the hydra. So here if you see at this location, there is a small outgrowth. Now the question is, can this outgrowth happen anywhere in the body? Can this outgrowth happen everywhere on the body of hydra? No. This bud or this outgrowth is the result of repeated cell division. So there are some specific areas where the cells have the capacity to divide where the cells have capacity to form new cells, right? As I told before also, that in multicellular organisms, there are a certain set of cells which are specialized to grow or which are specialized to divide, which are specialized to form new cells. So even in case of hydra, there are certain locations or there are some specific sites where repeated cell divisions can occur. So at those sites, this small outgrowth is seen. And this outgrowth is termed as bud. So if you see, this outgrowth gradually grows and it grows to the extent of a hydra. It grows to become another hydra. Now when it becomes completely matured, it will break off from the parent organism. So as a result, the parent will also be alive and the daughter will also be alive. Right? So birds are the small individuals which will gradually grow, become mature and after becoming mature, they will detach from the parent organism. So it is not only seen in hydra, it is also seen in yeast. So if you look at the yeast here in this picture, see these are the yeast, this is the yeast. But if you look at this yeast, you see there is a small outgrowth on this yeast. So here also this outgrowth will mature and it will separate out from the yeast. Sometimes it is also seen that the outgrowth becomes quite matured and before it could detach itself from the parent organism, before that only another outgrowth is seen on this outgrowth also, somewhat like this. So by the time it actually detaches itself from the parent body, it itself has an outgrowth on its body. Right? So this process is known as budding. Let us talk about fragmentation now. So let's see what it is. It is derived from the word fragment. Here the parent breaks into multiple pieces on maturity, each of which gives rise to a new individual. Okay, so the parent will break itself into many pieces. So each piece, piece is nothing but a fragment. So since the parent breaks itself into many fragments, that is why this process is called fragmentation. So nobody will actually break the organism. That, that is how the life cycle is. As soon as the organism will become matured, it will break itself into many pieces. And each of those separate pieces will then grow to form a new individual. It is quite surprising, right? Because that doesn't happen. In our day-to-day -day life, we see things breaking means it is gone. But there are certain things which are capable of regenerating itself, right? 
So similarly here also in fragmentation also the same thing happens. This fragmentation is not, it is seen only in simple multicellular organisms like uh, Spirogyra which is a green algae and falls under the plantae kingdom, right? So it is only possible in simple multicellular organisms. If you might think that okay then if, if it is a, such an easy process so why doesn't even human beings reproduce like this that uh, as soon as a human being grows up to become an adult that uh, human being breaks himself into different pieces then each of the pieces uh, regenerate to form a new human being. Things would have been so funny and so easy right but it is not like that and why is it not like that? Because this kind of process is not possible for all multicellular organisms. Whenever we talk of complex or advanced multicellular organisms, we talk of cells. We talk of collection of cells to form tissues to form some specialized function. We talk of tissues joining together to form organs and each organ performing a specific function. Again, we talk of organs combining together to form the organ systems. So that means if cell by cell division happens in these in simple multicellular organisms, what happens is that whenever the organism breaks into say four parts, each of those four parts, how will they form the new organism? They, they will keep on, the cells will keep on dividing. So just by repeated number of cell divisions, the entire organism will be formed. So that is possible because these simple multicellular organisms are just collection of cells. Here the cells are not specialized to form tissues or tissues are not specialized to form organs. But in complex multicellular organisms, even if you break the organism into three or four parts, each part will not be able to form the cells which are present in the other part. For example, there are some cells in our body which are specialized for digestion. There are some cells which are specialized for respiration. There are some cells which are specialized for reproduction. So if you break the body into three or four parts, each of those parts will not be able to, uh, the cells of that part will divide and will form cells only of that type. It will not be able to form cells which are specialized to do some other function. Right? So that is why cell by cell division is not possible for all multicellular organisms. But in case of the very simple multicellular organisms like here, the example which we have taken here is of Spirogyra. So this is how Spirogyra looks like, right? Now what it does, when it becomes mature, it divides itself into different parts and each of these parts then become a new Spirogyra altogether. So see, it divided itself into three parts and each of these parts regenerated to form the entire organism. So from one Spirogyra, we got three new Spirogyra. So this is known as fragmentation because here the organism breaks itself into many fragments which give rise to new individuals. That is why it is called fragmentation. Thank you. Please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.